Hi, I'm Ethan Mayo, Ethan Christensen from Ninja Zuba Jarvis and whatever else he feels like doing nowadays. Uh, we're going to ask you a couple of questions about how everything's going. Yeah. So, you're here at Dream Hut. What brings you here? Uh, well, a few things actually. I'm doing some things with LBS, uh, the gymnasium, some helping with esports, uh, line to, to teach uh, young people how to play esports actually in the schools, which is pretty cool. And then I'm here helping party out with the uh, Lenovo booth with the Silver Sniper thingies and uh, just did a little signing and giving out some of my new book. Okay. Uh, the recent announcement of DreamHack Masters in Stockholm has created a lot of buzz. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how big is that for you having such an event in the capital? Alright, so, so I'm going to put it this way. It's always been a dream for me since I was a little child that we, one day we would have a CS tournament in the Globe Arena. So it's, it's awesome. It's awesome in every sense. And to be frank, I think Stockholm and Sweden deserves another major. I mean, Stockholm haven't had one before, but Stockholm deserves a major. And I really hope you all listen to this. Stockholm major. That's pretty clear then, I'd say. Uh, so that's the next question done then, you've captured that one. So the Ninjas have shown a lot of improvement recently, uh, especially the win at Oakland. How do you feel about the future with the current lineup? I, I, I think actually like <clears throat> when we did the take in break and arrest, that, that's a long time term change actually because you know, they're young people, they have all the stars around them, so they, they need to time to adapt. And you can see that in the early tournaments they played good, but they, 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 there were more to give to it. And now we can see, you know, both Rake and Arrest are getting out in, you know, they're getting comfortable in, in their positions in the team and being on big stages and everything. So frankly, our goal was to be a top team in the end of the year. And having won Oakland, I would have to say, we're a little bit of, ahead of schedule actually. So I'm very, very happy. And it really warms my heart seeing, you know, young players like Russ and Draken working the way up the ladder. That, like They really show that there is hope for all the players out there to, to make yourself a name. If you just continue to grind and work hard, good things come to you. There was a lot of talk about Rez possibly being one of the best in Sweden, if not the world, in the future. Is that something you think you can go on to achieve if he continues? Oh yeah, I mean, I mentioned it before that Rez is the next superstar from Sweden and I'm 100% sure he still is. I mean. Hands down, he got the MVP in Oakland, and it was like his third big tournament ever. I mean, being able to cope with the pressure that's up on the stage in that young age and everything. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the next get right, really. So your book has been released, uh, you know, a little while ago, but not all too long ago. Is that been doing well? Are you excited about uh, the feedback from that? And I mean, I I'm actually pretty overwhelmed. I mean. Firstly, from the comments that I get from people, you know, people who haven't read a book, they say it's the best book they ever read, and I mean, it, it really, I'm getting goosebumps out. It was my heart, because it's a very honest story about my whole life, uh, the ups and downs and everything, so it's like I'm showing myself naked out there, pretty much. So, so it's really important to me that people like it, and it sold a lot more than I actually expected already, which is great, so it's, uh, it's a genuine interest for the book, and I think it's not only the the, the, the esports players buying it. I think it's a lot of people out there, like moms and dads, interested in well, what is really esports, and, and people who, who, who just want to know what esports is, that buy it as well. So I'm very, very, very satisfied with it. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to reading. I'm sure a lot of our viewers on the English side are. So it's can we expect in, that? Yeah, it's going to be out in English next year. Next year. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. And. Um, with all the recent roster drama, the team struggled to find replacements for the players, and obviously that comes into effect with you know your team as well. The same happened. What do you think about how those rules affect the teams and how they could be improved? I, I think actually I know or I understand the basic why the rule is there in the first place, but but quite frankly, you know, just it, it's been so many times now when the when, when you know the fans doesn't get watched top level CS. Just look at us in the major when Putin and getting visa, Threat had to jump in. I mean. That, that's not fair to the fans, and I mean, some players can't play in the tournaments, ESL finals, or face uh, league and everything, and I think that's, that's quite crap, actually, because we, I, I mean, I'm, I'm an eSport lover, I just want to see the best CS possible, and that's not going to happen if you want to need to have a substitute, or if you need to have your coach playing and everything. You kind of ruin it, so, so it needs to be reworked. All right, thank you very much for your Thanks. time, I'm sure I'll see you again soon, and enjoy the rest of your dream ride. Thank you, you too. Thank you, have a good one.